I'm here with Coach Leslie. We're going to go through the kettlebell swing, like the deadlift, like the squat, like the lunge, a lot of different iterations and variations of this movement. We're going to teach you a pretty standard kettlebell swing. It's a fantastic full body exercise, great for building strength, great for conditioning the body. So the foot position is a little bit wider than a normal deadlift position. And I like to teach you by reverse engineering the movement. So imagining that Coach Leslie's got the kettlebell up here at the top of the movement, and she's just completed a swing, that she's gonna have the body rigid as the arms come back into the hip. So it keeps the body tight. As the arms hit the top of the groin, she pushes this hip back and loads up through the lats, the glutes, and the hamstrings. In this position here, what she's focused on is squeezing this butt to drive the kettlebell forwards. So she has a hip extension in the same way that you're doing with your deadlift and spending energy forwards, not upwards. That's a massive, massive point. A lot of people wrestle a kettlebell with their shoulders and traps up here and think about pulling it up. We're not pulling the kettlebell up. We're allowing the body to stay tight, hinging the hip backwards and then driving the hip forwards to finish the concentric phase. So I'll let Coach Leslie do a few swings. We'll see what's happening here. So she starts by getting a bit back momentum and off she goes. So she's pushing those hips back, driving the hips forwards. She's not wrestling it with the shoulders and all the power is being generated through the lower back, glutes and hamstrings. All right, it's a kettlebell swing.